When we skydive from an aeroplane at about four, four and a half thousand meters, we accelerate and we accelerate and we accelerate. But do we continue to just go faster and faster? There's a speed you reach and you just can go no faster. That's terminal velocity. For a skydiver flying flat like this on his belly, that's about 120 something miles an hour. But we want to go faster than that. If we can clean up the shape, if we can make ourselves more aerodynamic, like a big flying wing, like a sort of a human jet fighter, we can go faster. We can go faster than 200 miles an hour. We can go faster than 300 miles an hour. We can average 340 miles an hour just from four and a half thousand meters. That's my terminal velocity. It's time to play space ball. The ball accelerates until it reaches its terminal or maximum velocity. But Adrian soon catches up with it, meaning that his terminal velocity is faster. But that's not the end of the story. The only way to play space ball is by being able to alter your terminal velocity. Sometimes Adrian and his friends fall faster than the ball, and sometimes they fall slower. The ball can't change its terminal velocity because it can't change its shape. But humans can change their terminal velocity by changing their body shape. A leg bend or an outstretched arm can increase or decrease the air resistance on the body. This allows them to fall slower or faster than the ball. Terminal velocities well in excess of 100 miles an hour are definitely too fast for a safe landing. So until Adrian perfects the art of flying, he will have to rely on his parachute to slow him down. Parachutes dramatically increase air resistance, creating a big upward force to slow him down for a safe landing. <laughs> 